Hi, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today, I'll show you how to crochet the Tunisian crossover stitch. I'm using worsted weight yarn for my sample and a size 5.5 millimeter hook. And you can use any length of a Tunisian hook depending upon if you are making a scarf or blanket. To begin, chain 29 or any multiple of 3 plus 2. Skip the first chain, then draw up loops as in traditional Tunisian simple stitch in each chain across. Once loops have been drawn up, your work should look like this. Now we're going to take off loops as in traditional Tunisian simple stitch. First, chain one. Then for all subsequent stitches, you'll yarn over and remove two loops from the hook. Yarn over, remove two loops. Yarn over, remove two loops. You'll continue doing this across. Here's where the crossover stitch pattern begins. Yarn over, then draw up loops under the vertical bars of the next three stitches. Take note of the yarn over stitch. Pull it over the three stitches and off the hook. And repeat. Yarn over. Draw up loops for the next three stitches. Take note of the yarn over. Pull it over the next three stitches. And you can see the crossover stitch really forming now. And I'll show this again. Yarn over. Draw up loops for the next three stitches. Take note of the yarn over. Pull it over the next three stitches. You'll just keep repeating this pattern across the row. At the end, just make one Tunisian simple stitch in the last stitch. Then for the return pass, chain one. And remove loops in groups of two as before. For the next row, We'll just repeat row two. Yarn over. Draw up loops in the next three stitches. Then take the yarn over and pass it over the three drawn up loops. Yarn over, draw up loops in the next three stitches. Take the yarn over and pass it over the three stitches. Continue with this pattern across the row. Here's what it looks like thus far. And at the end, remember just one simple stitch. Then chain one and take off loops in groups of two for the return pass. Continue this across the row. If you'd like to switch colors, I generally do it before the last two loops. Connect the new yarn, then draw it through the last two loops. Now you can use your new yarn to create the crossover stitches again. Continue with this pattern for as many rows as you wish. And that's how I crochet the crossover stitch. Thanks so much for watching my video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified of new videos from me each week. And if you liked the video you just watched, be sure to check out my next video, which I think you'll like very much.